Hi everybody and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Customs. I'm Andrew and on the bench today are four possible candidates for this video's special project. I'm looking for something rough and ready to traverse the wastelands. This is a matchbox, big 4x4. Four four. And similar to the second one that I'm holding, these were both Burger King special prizes that come with a Happy meal you get there. This one already has a police livery on it and looks the part. I think they would all do a fine job. This is Oshkosh. M-A-T-V. Hmm. And number four is a Humvee, obviously, and they'd all do just fine, but for no particular reason other than this is the biggest one, and therefore the largest canvas, I'm choosing this as my entry to this month's Three Blind Mice Invitational. It's Police Week, and we're to do a Gaslands Law Enforcement Vehicle. So I'm starting by drilling it out and taking out the windshield. Very simple, this Burger King price. There's no interior to speak of the window unit which I'm not going to reuse so I'm left with a die cast body right here in the plastic chassis and some 4x4 tires did you notice the tires said matchbox in raised letters hmm I used a titanium burr tool just to smooth off the top of this roof unit and I've drilled a little pilot hole in there and I'm gonna let you guess what that's for Here's what's coming up most immediately on my channel. Make sure you've got a Hot Wheels Beetle for the end of the month Four Horsemen Invitational, and I want you to mark your calendar for Canada Day, July 1st, for a special invitational that's open to everybody to participate any casting in the Canadian flag colors of red and white. I hope you'll join in. My fierce paint stripping gel did a pretty decent job of removing the matchbox lime green top coat. And I go to work with a series of attachments with my Dremel tool, although it's not essential in these gas lance builds to get an absolutely perfect finish, because it's going to get marred and weathered and muddied up pretty good. But I still like to start with a clean casting, and I do again here. Okay, off to a good start. The Diecast Sheriff is the host of this special invitational, so I want you to visit his channel. I've left a link in the description and welcome him back after a, a little time away from YouTube. And Sheriff, we're super glad to have you here hosting this special theme to your heart. So we're going to do our best to supply you with a variety of what our imagination tells us law enforcement will look like in the wastelands. I always enjoy when this theme comes around in the rotation on my channel because there's such an infinite amount of variety that can go into the armor plating and protection like this tomato can that I've been using for seven months now since I first cut it up for my Fury Road Warwick because it looks like steel plating. This particular configuration may change over the life of this video. Scraping away a little bit of the black paint because I think the whole thing was a bit dark looking and any exposed die cast from this will get painted. I'd like to wish a very happy birthday to a friend of the channel and avid viewer Mike McCollum from Houston, Texas who turned <coughs> years old this week. Take a moment and wish Mike a happy birthday in the comments, won't you? Let's see how many we can get. Wishing you a great week, Mike, all the way from Switzerland. I fired up the 3D printer this week to make a couple of pieces that I thought would look just right on this type of vehicle in this environment. No more window protection essentially, and a blade on the front that I'm going to reinforce with some supports just in case there's ever some kind of donut related emergency that they've got to get to in a hurry. And I'm painting up all the resin pieces with some gunmetal gray. 
I favor hand brushing over airbrushing when I do these gas lens builds because the final effect is not so smooth and perfect. Now remember that pilot hole that I drilled on top of the roof unit? It was for this reason. These are small magnets. And I'm going to put one in the bottom of this machine gun and one in the roof unit. A little bit of super glue. And when they're all cured and dried, look at this. It's not... So now it's movable and removable in case whoever gets this wants to take it off. I've spiraled up a little piece of fine wire to become a remote controlled operating device. They've got some kind of high-tech computer dashboard in here, I'm sure, all tricked out like a James Bond Aston Martin DB5, and so they can fire that at will from the cockpit. Here's the sheriff badge on both side doors and the call sign on the roof, MLC, build number 155, as well as on the back panels. And just to ensure you don't go speeding past too quickly, an indicator of who's up front driving this rig. I apply generous black wash over almost all surface areas at this point. It gives a depth perception to any of the shot lines and crevices, as well as an authentic aged appearance all around. It is a sheriff vehicle, so we got to have some red and blue beacon lights prominently displayed up front. And I thought in case of rescue or towing, a chunk of chain should be wound up on the front hood and secured with some glue. There's minimal detail on the bottom of this Burger King Matchbox casting, but I highlight what there is with a silver pen. And now I'm calling an audible at the line of scrimmage near the end of the game. I, I simply didn't fall in love with these front wheel steel plate covers, so I take them off with a pair of pliers, give it one more look over, and I've decided to go with a altogether different look. This comes out of the Benjamin Pop playbook, and I've done this before. I think it's an effective look. I'm going to create a couple of steel hoops out of some cut styrene. And now with some styrene glue, I'm applying tiny rivets that I've made by cutting slivers off the end of one millimeter styrene rods. Painted that up like the rest of the cars armor and now I'm doing some final weathering with my Tamiya powders. It's been out in the wastelands for so long it's got to be dusty. And it's at this point that I realized what most of you caught at the beginning of the video. I just DQ'd myself out of the competition because I did not start with a law enforcement vehicle. Should have read this at the beginning. Oh well, what's done is done and this is what I'm submitting because having fun is the main thing. And the rules are more like guidelines, aren't they? Come on. Let's have a look around at what I've completed now. You can see the armor accoutrements, the weaponry on the top with the magnets. I like that touch. Lots of good weathering, the lights, the chain, the blade. It looks like it's been patrolling the wastelands for a long time now and it's banged up and marked up but it's a super good roller. So thank you Burger King for the prize package 4x4 vehicle that I was able to start with and converted it into what you see here. That's a serious ride now. I like how it turned out. That's supposed to look clean and polished, remember? 
This one goes to war with all the bad hombres that are out there. And I put it on this diorama that I made a little while ago just for the purpose of displaying these gas lens builds. And I want to thank you for visiting my channel today and coming by. Be sure to say happy birthday to Mike in the comments. Don't forget to do that. Come on back soon. And often, it's coffee time.